All right, this week's project is to manage your web pages that you've, you've created in your Google site. So we're gonna to go to Google sites and go here. And uh, so here you see the, the web page. You've got all the assignments that were turned in. So we started way back here with this YouTube and Sway pages. So the, the first two pages were YouTube and Sway. And the assignment was to add a page that will hold a video as a, a as an embedded video. So this this excuse me this this video has been embedded in the page, so you can just watch the video without going to YouTube, see it right in the page. And we have a preview a button right here, so we can preview the the uh, the we can preview the video and or v preview the page and see how it looked to the real world. Um, and then we just close the preview and, and see you know, there's so there's lots of ways to manipulate this. Um, you can change the size. So this video is a little bit small inside the box and that can be changed. If you just click on the video on the on the resource, there's a little pencil here to edit. So you could go and edit the height and width right here directly and change that that size. Um, and the the one thing that you want to do when you're doing that is to keep the height and width ratio for the resource the same, right? So right now, if you look at 800 divided by 450, it's going to be 1.7777777777. And that's because that's the height and width ratio for a 1920 by 1080 or an HD sized frame so hd videos that and that's all the monitors and all the tv you know big screen tvs have all been set up to that ratio and if you go with the other way you go 450 divided by what did i have here 1800 you get 0.5625 so if you change one of these numbers let's say i want to change 800 uh, so if you took 800 the, the number 800 and you go 800 times 0.5625 to get the other ratio side, you get 450. If you take 450 times 1.7777777, you get 799. So it's 800. So you would, of course, round that um, because you can't get enough sevens to make it work. So if I got a little bit of rounding there. So close enough to 800, you would make it 800. So you could change this and mess around and, and get that perfectly right. So, um, and then you click next and it shows you, here's a little preview of what you're gonna do and then save. Um, but what we're, what we we're looking at today is the order of these pages. So we've got all these pages up here and in, and, and, and why am I getting that? There we go. And I wanna get rid of that you'll probably have by the end of the semester you'll have more pages up here and you can add pages just to have like a call it video one or video two but what we're going to look at is paring down the number of pages that are on your main page so if i go to my home page i have all these links to all these these different resources i want to have fewer pages up here and i'm going to do that by going into oh, and then of course before we go there there's the sway that you made you made a sway you embedded it and it works just like a sway. Um, so the next step here is to, so to my connection's a little slow today. I do not know why. Um, but the next step here is to go to the pages, um, pages tab in the editor and work on organizing this so it takes it, it's a little it's a little neater for the for the viewer and the way to do that is i'm going to add a couple of pages i'm going to add a page i'm going to call it uh maybe my videos you could call it whatever you want but the the goal is to have a page where all your videos are going to go so now this youtube one i'm going to put this here and i just drag drag the page and now that video now i've got a little arrow it says, oh, I can, there's, there's resources in this web page. And I'm going to go for cause and effect is a slideshow. So I'll leave that. So I'm going to make another, another master page called 
slide shows and done and and i'm going to go put where's my slideshows i'm going to put my sway in there because it's really a slideshow i'm going to put my cause and effect slideshow in there it's a slideshow and storyboard slideshow it goes in there too and notice the those links for those pages disappear from my from my home page and now they're in the slideshows page so if i go to the slideshows link I've got the cause and effect, I've got the sway, I've got the storyboard slideshow, pages all here. All right, and um, I can make one, so well, just for now, I, don't have, I can't think of a, a creative title, so we go other. Other, that's not good. Other. And so now I have an other to, for my embedded document and my storyboard. Oh, and you can also, Let's call that, let's call this stills. And then you've got advanced, you can do other stuff, custom path, you could, whatever. So you're done. Now I've got stills, slideshows, my videos. And so I just have four links on my home page. And so I can go to my home page. And so here's my home page, and we call it. Uh, All my awesome work. And I think I want to put this, get this under the second line there. That looks better. And can I move it over? Yes. Get it pretty much centered. There's my all my awesome work. And you know, there's lots of stuff you can do on this, this main page. You can change the image of this, you can change the header type, so you change the different styles. Anyway, but the main point, the main thing we're doing this week is reducing the number of pages that are appearing up here in this bar. So we're gonna, we're gonna change this so we can have like a stills page under which are a couple of pages, slideshows under which are a couple of pages, videos. Maybe you don't have another video page. We could add a video page, um, say, great video number, number, Two, and then great video number two. We can just put in my videos. So there you go. So that's that's this is how you're going to organize your web page. Now, if you don't have this web page, back all the way up to the embed video. Now this is going to be this assignment is going to be in the for um, for this class and photography is going to be different. This is going to this is in the um web html and page design folder so if you go to the class you'll see it in the wow this is slow unusually slow and i don't think that's me um so there's a there, there's a, a large folder called the web html and page design and in that is going to be this new assignment so uh, that's it. So you're going to take, you're going to go to your master you know, first in the last little bit, the, you're going to go to your, your, um, that's my that document. You're going to go to your website. You're going to add a bunch of pages. Yeah. Add some master pages to, to categorize whatever categories you, you can pick your own categories. I pick slideshows and videos and stills and then drag the, those pages you've already made into those master the, the, those large category subjects uh, page. The last thing to do is publish. Until I hit publish, none of that stuff is saved to the web. So now I publish, and oh gosh, it's slow again. So it's, here's what it here's what it um, looks like now. Here's what it's going to look like, and I just click publish, and now it's ready to go to uh, to give this to me to turn this in you would click on home to be on the home page and then not this link this link is to edit you get to this editing page it's not the page display you want the page that when i click on the link it looks like this it looks like the real web page and that you get right here in this little chain link and you mouse over this stuff it says what it is so mouse over this it says copy published site link there's the published site link. So it's sites.google.com forward slash 
LUSD.net forward slash whatever I called it forward slash home. So I gave that name to this website. So the whole website is all this plus whatever I called it and home. And I copy that link. That's what I turn into Schoology. So where am I looking? Looking right there. That's what you turn into Schoology. So um, I'm going to stop the video now. And it, in class, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll stop.